that the Prince Charles Philip Arthur George is now, by the death of our late sovereign of happy memory, become our only lawful and rightful liege lord, Charles III. A formality to recognise the sovereignty of Britain's new king. The ceremony took place in St James's Palace in London, attended by the Accession Council, senior politicians and advisers to the monarch. The centuries-old proceedings were televised for the first time. To all of us as a family, as to this kingdom and the wider family of nations of which it is a part, my mother gave an example of lifelong love and of selfless service. My mother's reign was unequalled in its duration, its dedication and its devotion. Even as we grieve, we give thanks for this most faithful life. Preparations are now underway in Edinburgh for the arrival of the Queen's body. Her coffin is expected to be moved from Balmoral on Sunday. There's a 10-day programme of official mourning until the Queen is buried. King Charles has approved an order that the day of the Queen's funeral will be a bank holiday. The date has yet to be officially announced, but is expected to be on Monday, the 19th of September. Heads of state are set to converge in London. US President Joe Biden has said he will attend. The Kremlin has confirmed Russian President Vladimir Putin will not. But for those who have flocked to the palace here in London, it doesn't matter what world leaders do. Queen Elizabeth II was their monarch, and thousands upon thousands of people continue to come here and grieve. Faith R, Arise News, London.